Gear video. And this video I'm gonna talk about the M Gear hotkeys. Uh, so if we go to the M Gear menu and we go to utilities, we have an option here that says create M Gear hotkeys. So if we execute this, we're gonna see some uh, login happening here. So if we check, we'll see that um, there is some hotkeys created like duplicated, toggle, duh, 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 few of them. So basically, he creates the commands for you. But it doesn't map to any any key uh, anything, so it's up to you how you configure it. I'm gonna go through and set the configuration that I like to use on um, my I mean in my 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 day by day work. <laughs> so this is my installation. It's a fresh one, so it doesn't have any custom um, hotkeys yet. So I'm just First thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna duplicate the default Maya one. And I'm gonna create this M gear gear sample, something like that. And now I can edit. So if we go here on the custom scripts, we will find uh, M gear menu or uh, subsection. I don't know how to say it. And here is all the um, custom hotkeys or runtime commands that offers. So I'm gonna go one by one and configure uh, almost everything. So the first one I like to configure it's the... Uh, okay, let's go by order so it's gonna be easier. So we have duplicated and duplicated uh, symmetry. So I use for duplicate symmetry it's shift D. Shift D it's already assigned to duplicate with uh, transform. I don't care. I want to override this one. And my duplicate, it's Control D, and this is very, very interesting. Later, when we uh, work on the on the guides, because if we check it here, what it does, it's um, basically first it checks if it's a uh, um, mesh face selected, so it's gonna extrude. This is um, similar to what it uh, we have in Softy Mesh. So Control D, if you have a polygon it will extrude if you have an object it will duplicate then if it's not a polygon it's gonna check very simple if it's uh if it's uh or has a component type so it knows it's um if it's not it's gonna duplicate normally and if it's a component type it's gonna use this soft image uh sorry the m gear um duplicate Okay, frame center. This one we don't really need it anymore on Maya 2018. So basically, it centers on the f on the center of the object instead of the uh, whole chain, let's say. Um, and it was very, very, <laughs> very simple trick. Basically, it was creating a locator and frame the locator, and then delete the locator. It was a bit lame. This one, it's um also. In 2017, I think they added the um, modify recent transforms thing. And this was like uh, my personal that, so maybe it's not needed anymore. But I would like to have it always in uh, Control Shift. Oh, sorry. Control Shift R, like soft image. Uh, maximize Maya. I always put it to F11. Then um toggle visibility we don't need it anymore it's uh, the default um maya behavior now so h hide and unhide uh then we have the toggle wireframe that i normally put it on the two toggle shaded i put it on the one align to transforms in world space i normally have alt m Inspect property, I added to the four spec inspect property. It's when you, it's like settings here. When you have a guide selected or any part of the guide, you press four and it's gonna pop the, the settings there. Build from selection, I like to put it on F7 that uh, many um, softwares like uh, you use F7 to, to uh, compile, for instance, like uh, on the Visual Studio. And then we have the custom walk, and from this version, um, we have the um, sorry, this one here. Uh, we have also the um, control tag on the 
controls for the shifter rigs. So we have a custom walk, uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do this in another video because uh, I think it's um, interesting to have this separated and explain the all all the uh, custom walk uh, behavior. So we have the reset camera perspective, and I use uh, this Alt R and. Yeah, part of that, I think the rest are uh, the custom wall. We have the old one here that it's, um, you can see, this is the walk normal and the walk adding, but we will check later in another video. So that's all for the custom hotkeys. I'm gonna save and continue with another video. So see you in the next one. Bye bye.